This is the accumulating example. Um, it asks for five numbers and calculates the sum and average. And remember, uh, in the last video we looked at changing this number. Uh, if, if we didn't want five, if we wanted 15, we would just change the loop control and say 15. If we wanted 150, we would change it to 150. Okay. So if we wanted, you know, whatever we want, we would plug it in right there. Uh, so 10, we would put in 10. Now the problem with this is anytime we change the source code, we have to recompile. Uh, just because we want to average a different set of numbers doesn't mean, mean we want to recompile our program. So uh, here's a kind of a quick and dirty way to say any number. So if you want to ask the user, well, what number do you want? We could just call that in some number, okay, whether that be 10, 100, 15, 5. Um, and then we'll declare that up here, of course, uh, and then we'll just ask the user right up front, how many uh, numbers do you want to enter, and we'll get that as input, okay, uh, and then we'll just compare that number uh, to what they say. So let's test this out, uh, compile it and run it, and let's just say we want three numbers, and we'll do 70, 80, and 90. And we should get a grand total of 240 and the average is 80. Okay, so that's how we can do um, kind of a simple version of any number of inputs. Uh, the good thing is we can rerun it and do it for 10. We don't have to recompile. It's just built into the program.